Here's a tutorial on how to create an animated greeting card uh, in Scratch. So this is a topic that was discussed at the uh, hashtag uh, CSK8 chat on Twitter uh, by a grade 7 student, Austin, Austin Gagne8, uh, about a week ago. If you happen to miss that, then uh, you can get started right here. And if you happen to attend that, we'll add a few features as well. So I'm going to start by getting rid of the cat. We'll right-click the cat, not very festive, choose Delete. And we're going to add a backdrop. So we'll click uh, down near the bottom here on the left. It does say new backdrop. You can actually paint your own uh, just to save some time. And because I'm not very creative, we'll uh, choose one that's already made. So I'm going to click on holidays and choose the gingerbread house. <clears throat> As the gingerbread house loads, uh, our next move will be to add a new sprite. So the new sprite is located just below the gingerbread house. Funny looking character. Click on it. Again, I'm going to choose holiday. Find some festive uh, sprites. I'll choose a snowman. And when our snowman gets imported, it might not be a good size. Uh, it's certainly not good to have our snowman up in the air. Uh, and I think it's a little bit big, so what we can do is we can resize it. So up in the uh, center of the screen, uh, middle uh, of the screen, but in the in up near the top, uh, we have the option of grow growing the sprite or shrinking it. So I'm going to click on shrink and I'll just shrink our snowman down a little bit. That's great. Move it a bit. And we'll write the code. So the first thing we're going to do under events, when the green flag is clicked, we're going to have our snowman walk forever. So under control, we'll add a uh, loop that goes forever. Now if our snowman hits the edge, edge of the screen, we want it to come back, otherwise it'll disappear and the, the greeting card will be done quickly, which might be what you're after, but we'll have it come back. So under motion, there is a block called if on edge bounce. It's at the very bottom of my screen here. So I'm going to drag that if on edge bounce into uh, into the uh, the loop that goes on forever. And if we just hit let it hit the screen and bounce, it will actually flip upside down. So to fix that, we can uh, set rotation style left right, and that will cause it to. Uh, sort of make sure that it stays upright the entire time. I'm going to have the snowman move 80 steps. So move, I'll drag that move 10 steps block out here. Change 10 to 80. And then we can make it say happy holidays. So under looks, we'll say, we'll drag out a say hello for two seconds block. Change the hello to happy holidays. And, uh, well, let's make it for one second. And just to be sure, we'll have the snowman wait for a couple of seconds before it continues on. So under control, wait, we can do two seconds. Again, you can play with all these values and change them. All right, so here goes our snowman. Click on the green flag. There it goes. It hits the edge of the screen. It should turn around. Here it comes seems to be working okay so let's add some snow let's make it snow um, in order to do that we're gonna add some sprites click on the new sprite icon choose holiday again here's a snowflake we'll choose that <coughs> obviously the snowflake is quite large so we'll resize it we'll click on the shrink and just click on the snowflake until we're happy with the size don't want our snowflake to knock out our snowman there we go, that's decent. I'll just move it over here. Now, just like the snowman uh, was oriented facing to the right when we started, the snowflake is as well. Um, and so we want to change its orientation so it falls instead of moving to the right. And we can do that in the list of sprites. There's a little eye in the upper left corner of the snowflake. So if I click on that eye, you can see here that its direction is 90 degrees and it shows you that that is um, to the right of the screen. If we just grab that little blue bar and drag it down to 180, then the motion will be downwards. Once we've done that, we can uh, we can exit this by just clicking on the little blue triangle. That'll take us back to our list of sprites. Good. Now I'm going to um, duplicate this snowflake uh, a few times. So right click on the snowflake, choose duplicate. We can do a bunch of them you'll see that they kind of pop up all over the screen. We can move them around afterwards. I'll just do a couple more. Again, you can do as many or as few as you like. 
<clears throat> and I'll just spread them out around the screen. Oh, maybe one down here, one somewhere over here. Let me take this one and drag it down. All right, so we have some snowflakes all over the place. I'm going to start by uh, coding this first one. So again, we want to start the uh, snowing when the green flag is clicked. So we're going to click on events. When the green flag is clicked, we can drag that out. We'll make it snow forever. I know some people probably aren't very happy about that, but uh, it'd be okay with me. Uh, so snow forever. Now when we our snowflake falls, we want it to fall, but uh, we want it to keep falling until it hits the ground or the bottom of the screen. At that point, we're going to have to move it back up. So we're going to put a repeat until in here. Here's the repeat until block. We'll stick it right in that forever block. And uh, the uh, stage is, is has X and Y coordinates, and you can see the X and the Y coordinates in the ro just lower right-hand corner of the stage, just below the stage. Uh, and you can see that the smallest possible Y value is negative 180. So we want to stop when we get to negative 180. Uh, it also goes as high as one positive 180, so we'll keep that in mind as we make that adjustment later on. So basically we want to keep going until uh, until we hit the bottom uh, or lower. Uh, depending on where your snowflake is, uh, you might actually end up lower than uh, 180. So we'll make sure that we get that into our program. So under operators, we're going to need one of these OR blocks. And uh, we'll need an equals and a less than. And what we want to do is we want to say that uh, we're going to repeat this until the uh, y coordinate is either equal to negative 180. So let's go find that. The y coordinate, we'll need a couple of them, is under motion. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see y position. So we'll drag out a couple of those. So we want the y position to be equal to 180. So just type 180 in here. Or we want the y position to be less than 180. And sorry, that should be a negative 180 because we are going to the bottom. We don't want our snowflakes to go from the ground up. And we can, so these are the two conditions that we're looking for. We're looking for either the y position is equal to negative 180 or it's less than uh, negative 180. And we want to repeat this falling snow until that condition is true. You have to be careful where you grab these blocks. Don't grab on the stuff that you've just placed inside, otherwise they'll come out as you just saw. So I'm going to drag this right in here. So repeat until uh, the y position equals negative 180 or the y position is less than negative 180. Uh, and... Uh, we're going to move, so our snowflake is going to fall. We'll move, sure, we'll keep that at 10 steps. And then we don't want it to fall so fast that we can't see it, so we're going to wait a little bit. So we'll under control, we'll grab this wait one second. Now one second is a long time for a, position, a snowflake to be in one position, so we'll just change that to 0.1 seconds. So the snowflake falls. Once it hits the bottom of the screen, we need it to go back to the top. So under motion, there is a set y to 0 block right near the bottom of my screen, set y to 0. And we want to make sure we set y to 180. There it is. And that, in theory, should work. So if I click on the green flag, we should see the snowman move, and we should see uh, one of our snowflakes falling, hitting the ground, going back up to the top. Now we could retype this code for all of the... Um, other snowflakes. There's a cool little feature in Scratch called the backpack. So it's, it's not like a lot of other programming languages where you can just copy and paste, uh, but uh, this backpack basically allows you to do that. So the backpack is located at the bottom of the screen and you can see it just at the very bottom uh, in the center uh, section. If I click on the up arrow here, that brings up the backpack and what I can do, I've got something in there already, yours might be empty, uh, is I can actually drag this whole script into my backpack and it's going to be my second one uh, probably the only one that you have so it, it kept it here for this snowflake but now I can move to the other snowflakes and just drag that script out of the backpack saving you a whole lot of time so I'm just gonna drag that script out for each of the sp uh, snowflake sprites 
So click on the snowflake, drag out the script, click on the snowflake, drag out the script. Same thing for the last one. And now, with any luck, we should have all of our snowflakes falling. So click on the green flag. The snowman is moving, saying happy holidays. Our snow is falling. If you're not happy with the pattern of the snowflakes, you can stop things and reset them. So that's a uh, very simple addition to the greeting card idea of having an object, uh, or a sprite in this case, a snowman, uh, say happy holidays, and then have a little bit of snow. Feel free to explore this. You can do a whole lot of other uh, animation uh, as well. Uh, thanks for watching.